Welcome back to Storytime with Adele. How are you feeling today? I hope you're feeling good. Today's story is called Mrs. Noah's Pockets. It's by Jackie Morris and James Mayhew. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Mrs. Noah's Pockets by Jackie Morris and James Mayhew. It rained. Not the kind of rain that comes in a shower then passes. This rain came from a sky dark as a bruise, falling hard and fast, beating the earth, washing down tracks, making streams of pathways and rivers of roads. Mr. Noah stood on a hill, saw the water rising, began to build an ark. This, he said, will be the ideal time to tidy up the world a bit. The ideal time to get rid of some of those more troublesome creatures. By day, Mr. Noah would draw out plans, hammer and saw at wood, steadily building the biggest boat the world had ever seen. By night, he sat in a corner and made lists, one for all the animals who would sail with the ark, two of every kind, and one for the troublesome creatures that Mr. Noah wished to leave behind. All the time, Mrs. Noah watched Mr. Noah. She saw the plans. She watched as he worked. She saw the lists. She smiled. She took out her sewing machine and began to stitch. She snipped and she threaded and she tacked and she tucked and she stitched. How lovely, thought Mr. Noah. Mrs. Noah is making curtains for the windows of my ark. Mrs. Noah just smiled. When the ark was finished, Mr. Noah gathered together animals from all around the world, two by two, and took them into a shelter out of the rain. Mrs. Noah went for one last walk, wading through the water into the heart of the mythical wood on errands of her own. At last, all were gathered inside the ark. It heaved with animals, large and small. Mr. Noah had been too busy and important to notice there were no curtains at the window. Mrs. Noah wore a brand new coat, stitched and snipped and tucked and turned with a hood and a cape and very deep pockets. Lots of pockets. And still it rained. The hollows of the land began to fill. Lakes formed in valleys. The water rose higher and higher until it tickled the base of the boat where it rested on the hill. 
The water lifted it. They began to float. Mr. Noah cut the ropes that held the ark at anchor and away they drifted. The rain beat on the roof, great rods of battering rain. All the animals and Mr. Noah and the children sheltered in the dry of the ark. Mrs. Noah stood on the prow, wearing her hood up, umbrella in hand, watching the dolphins and mermaids racing the waves. Every evening, after the animals had been cared for, when the owls began their evening song, Mr. Noah would fall asleep. Mrs. Noah would gather the children around and tell them tales of dragons and unicorns, griffin and phoenix, centaurs and jackalopes, wolpertingas and all manner of things. Now and again, Mr. Noah would wake and mutter, Bah, unicorns, troublesome creatures. The children sometimes thought they could see things moving deep in Mrs. Noah's pockets. Maybe it was a trick of the light. Then one morning, everyone awoke to silence. The rain had stopped. The clouds began to roll away. The sky was the most beautiful cornflower blue. Everyone waited, everyone watched, as Mr. Noah sent out a raven to search for land. Later that day, the raven came back. No land anywhere. It seemed that the world had drowned in all the rain. The ark sailed on. Mr. Noah sent out a dove. High, high in the clear blue sky, they all watched until she disappeared. Much later that day, as the sun coloured the sea to glow with gold, over the water she came. In her beak was a small twig of green olive. The next day, they followed the dove until the ark came to rest on the tip of a mountain. All the animals spilled out onto the land as Mr. Noah watched and smiled. So much tidier without those troublesome ones. Mrs. Noah, her coattails flapping in the warm wind, wandered away from the ark into a wood that grew close by. Here, one at a time, she emptied her pockets, being very careful to lift the creatures all out, setting them free, two by two, into the new land. <laughs> 